Hi, John here. Um, today it's Wednesday the 18th of October 2017. Um, just a message to um, Manahi, um, Parapara Mohini, uh, that um, uh, I'll just uh, emailing to you Paramount Chiefs um, the latest of what's uh, happening in Britain and it's an article that I've picked up off um, um, Facebook. The EU is a criminal institution. Spanish MEP unleashes fury at G6. The Spanish MEP branded the European Union as a criminal institution today as she blasted the block for linking migrants with terrorists at the G6 summit. Published 8.02 a.m. Tuesday, October the 17th, 2017. So, um, what that signals to us is that our political connection to Britain, the UK, through this flag, and our um, jurisdiction in the commercial contract uh, with the uh, British Navy uh, military uh, to have a say in what's happening in Britain as far as the threat from the EU Parliament and Queen Elizabeth II that started the racket off in 2008, the Lisbon Treaty, with Gordon Brown, Prime Minister then, Scott and the Queen of Scots, Queen Elizabeth II. The racket has gone right up till now, recorded all the way through these years, uh, from 2008 to 2009. Uh, when it was ratified later uh, in 2012, I think it was, that um, it became law. Uh, and right up till now, this is how the racket started in the EU Parliament. I know it back to front. I know how they started up out of thin air, making money and creating another British, like a British empire. It's now a European empire, and they're still using King William III and King William IV flag of Admiralty, Court Martial Law, Jurisdiction, and Magistrate Courts. They've got their power out of these flags and those kings of commerce. The king of commerce, king of the sea, king of the royal revenue of conquered lands, leases. That comes from King William III of Orange in the Netherlands and Brussels. That's our court. The world court is our court, but the highest court of all is the magistrate court in Westminster City, Westminster Magistrate Court and Edinburgh Magistrate Court in Scotland, where Tino Waikato Whare Here Here Manukau, Paramount Chief, made a contract, sale and purchase agreement, to sell New Zealand and Pacific Islands. That's what I'm getting on about. Back then, 1820 to 1830 period, with King George the Fourth, because Britain was going to take it anyway, without, with or without the Moriori Manukau chief, and without um, anybody else other than a king. And also the French had their kings. They were trying to take New Zealand and Pacific Islands as well. They ended up with Tahiti. Well, they got that far, but the British took the rest as being more powerful. And with four countries, Northern Ireland, Scotland, England and Wales, that's how they started that racket with the commercial contracts of private in magistrate courts to form political or um, foreign policies between countries through this court. It's the only way you're going to get a Admiralty Bank Magistrate Court flag of jurisdiction through the world is by foreign policies in governments. So Westminster government has this flag as its policies of foreign trade and investment and banks. This is a commercial trading bank flag of a king that was given to us 
the paramount chiefs of New Zealand. That means we are commercial landowners, money, <coughs> and it is your job <coughs> as a Moriori Manukau chief descendant, bloodline, DNA, to come with me, the executor of that Moriori Manukau Freemasons title in Edinburgh Magistrate Court, 1820-1830, that Paramount Chief Te Rewaikato Wharehere at Manukau signed with King George IV, the brother of King William III, took over from 1830 to 1834 cut-off period with this flag. But the laws we use are in this book. I'm screen printing right now. Okay, I'm screen printing this book right now. It's our magistrate court that I'm just telling you now. We're linking up with this EU Parliament racket. That's a threat and a conflict of interest to this British flag, Paramount Chief Natives of New Zealand Pacific Islands flag, partnership, two-party contract, and the EU Parliament and the Queen, the head of the Jesuits, in the EU Parliament with Gordon Brown, Prime Minister of Westminster back then, 2008, are threats to our British and New Zealand Paramount Chiefs two-party contract. You are third parties, Queen and Gordon Brown and the EU Parliament and all those politicians and everybody linked to you through the Pope and through the Rothschild banks and the EU Parliament and UN, United Nations, the um, IMF Bank, uh, World Bank, and Bilderbergs, ISIS, Israel, uh, City of London, Washington DC, United States of America, private companies these are and Vatican City, private companies, Bank of England, private company, all of those, Queen Elizabeth II, private company, Buckingham Palace, private company, NZ Invest, New Zealand, private company, Intuition, New Zealand, New Zealand, private company, Waitangi National Trust, private company, New Zealand Crown, government, private company, all these private companies are third parties money to this two-party private contract flag of Admiralty Court Martial Law Jurisdiction. It is a 1834 declaration of war flag on those third parties. Right now with a pound note. 970 million trillion trillion pound note. Dear instruments. Split up on each individual pirate operating as third parties in conflict of interest against the British government and parliament of Westminster and Westminster Magistrate Court and our Auckland Te Ungawaka Marae Native Grand Jury Trial Native Magistrate Court and its paramount chiefs commercial land owners of New Zealand and Pacific Islands with those two kings, King George IV and King George III, oh, King George III, King George IV, brothers of the father King George III and King William III, the creator of the Bank of England and the creator of the pound note and the creator of this eight point star on this flag of municipalities in Belfast. Northern Ireland, where my ancestors, the Cosgroves, lawyers and Rogan judges come from, Ulster to Ulster, North Ireland, New Zealand. There, I'm just saying it like that, and the Moai statue to finish off God's Earth Spirit title to this whole planet, Earth. All those pictures I've got online are proof beyond a doubt what I'm saying is the truth and nothing but the truth, so help me God, God's deeds of truth law, opposite to the Jesuits <coughs> and the Freemasons law, fraud and corruption is their oath. That's their oath.
that oath is truth, deeds, truth to God, earth, planet, and him. Okay, in the Moai statue, his face, with a crown on top of his head, his crown, earth, not a metal crown, his crown, earth, title, and jurisdiction, prevailed. Okay, so now I um, email these to you. Uh, these, I'm just going to run the camera over. We have got it on line. I'll just put that on there. I'm just recording this um, email I'm just about to send to you money here. So we've got Farage there and Junker uh, and the talks in the EU Parliament and the immigrants coming in, letting them all in with the terrorists and some more pictures of it and our flag here this is our jurisdiction, our flag of declaration of war in 2012 was given notice and Moai statue, seal of this earth and King William the fourth eight point star of St. Patrick's our sheriffs, that's my position as sheriff and his crown up there, King William the Fourth Crown, and the rope is the Admiralty of the Sea, the Lord of the Sea, the King of the Sea, <coughs> and the King of Commerce is what who we are. And there's uh, King William the Fourth with um, uh, Te Rawaikato Whareheri and Manika on the left, and uh, Hongihika on the right, and Bishop Thomas Kendall who took them to England to learn English, and to and Te Rawaikato took on the role as land transfer and bank transactions with the Magistrate Court in Edinburgh uh, with um, William Simons, um, First Lieutenant of the um, uh, Navy, Royal Navy, 23rd Regiment, um, um, uh, signed with um, Te Rawaikato Whareheri Manukau on the left, on the left there. Okay, that's our seal. And Hongiheka was responsible for military he was not signing any documents. He was issued with muskets to go back to New Zealand to help the British to conquer New Zealand. And there is Thomas Kendall, Bishop, who took them to um, Cambridge University in uh, England. And Tira Waikato, Whareheri Here, that's his pa and his tribal lands in Waikato, um, uh, Cambridge. So Cambridge is where Mangatauteri Mountain, pa, is. Uh, uh, Paramount Chief Tira Waikato Whareheri in Manukau that Mui Manukau is a descendant and I'm the executor of his trust the Mui Manukau, Timati Manukau the fourth Paramount Chief's trust and his Freemason title I'm the executor and administrator of his business and all his titles and documents to that magistrate court Awaro Bank Magistrate Court in Helensville, Awaroa, okay, I'm in charge of that lot, that's where the Freemasons started in New Zealand. Um, so there's um, Thomas Kendall, and the flag on the right hand side on the treaty grounds at Waitangi, and that's our title, that flag of Admiralty and King William IV's ship of Admiralty back then, 1834, that flag, 20th March, at Okeato, um, Native Magistrate Court in um, um, Kurareka, Russell, Bay of Islands. It was blown up the bits and taken down to Awaroa Magistrate Court, that title, and that's where Auckland started off with the Manukau Company, a British company put together with Te Rewakato Whareheri in Manukau back then. Okay, so that's that, and it goes down, that's the finish of that. But on Facebook I've got it um, here. There's, there's the article there uh, with this woman here, uh, EU um, criminal institution, Spanish MP Licious. Licious Fury at G6. And there's the um, flag and the, all the offences here against those third parties that I've just mentioned in the EU Parliament and United States of America and Israel and. Um, Rome, Pope Francis, and there's our seal of Moai there, and King William's seal there. See, the two most powerful 
and memorials in the world are these of commerce is these two okay the commercial this one he was stolen and taken to England by Queen Victoria in 1868 1868 she stole this off East Island the first one that's the first Moai to be stolen off the land the Dutch didn't touch them the Dutch got there first King William the Third's Dutchman got there first and there's King William's horse and his crown and the eight-point star of St. Patrick. That's how sheriffs got that on the front of the hat and on the shoulders as well on the um, front of the um, shirt uh, uniform. Uh, where's that? And there's um, um, King William the Fourth and his eight-point star he's wearing here and Tilawakato for the head of in Manukau. Um, uh, Hongihika, the Cook Island, Tahitian, the Moriori, Tira Waikato, and the British partnership with Bishop Con Thomas Kendall and with King William IV. This is the partnership people and the flag here behind me is that authority and jurisdiction to force any debt or act of war on anyone who's a third party conflict. Now there's the other one I had with, put this with um, President Duterte, Duterte, Rodriguez Duterte of Philippines, told EU ambassadors, you leave my country in 24 hours. That's what we're saying here in New Zealand at the same time, is what he's saying. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to see President Duterte in the Philippines. I've got a Filipino um, partner now and she's um, going to interpret while well, he can speak English he knows how to say uh, you son of a bitch so that's you know that's what I'll say the same thing about the EU Parliament and America and Israel and Saudi and, and all the thugs and South Korea you son of a bitch mother whatever uh, so there you go that's the, the latest of what I wanted to Put no comments yet. Um, so, let's put this back here. Uh, Manihi, um, and Bundy, Waitai, and Hiruini Kraka. Uh, I'm just um, screen printing, this takes me a long time to do it. You know, I just have to be in the right mood to do it. And uh, put it online for everybody to witness and send it off to Graham Aylett, the private investigator. I've been busy on other matters and watching the news going on. It's my ritual in the morning to check the British news and the American news and the news of the world to see where we fit in amongst it all with our political um, um, uh, standing uh, with the Moai, <coughs> King William IV Trust and um, also with the Moai Powerhouse Group Limited Limited Company in London, the Moai Crown Corporate Companies and also the Moai Federal State Commonwealth Government of the World setting up in Auckland. So where the Whakamininga sits in is that the, they have their upper house of parliament for New Zealand. The parliament in Wellington has no upper house. It's only got a lower house and temporary, a three-year temporary. And it's in a state of confusion at the moment of who's going to be the prime minister and who's going to run this country. It's in a political mess. And that's the way it's going to end. It's going to end in confusion, uncertainty, as it always is, and debt. It's over a half a trillion debt and rising. They're always going to be in debt because that's all they know. We're a credit organisation that never gets into debt. We have no mortgages and no debts to start with and will never have debts because that's a Satan uh, devil uh, system of screwing the people for your own selves interests and that's what's happened with the government here and the police has become a police state with uh, Judith Collins you're in trouble Judith Collins you're gonna get a hanging rope you and Bill English and John Key and everybody in there who is a threat against our national interests of the people of this country who are all gonna jump on this side if they want to <coughs> the Moai Crown side from the Queen Crown side. She's got no seals here in the Parliament, in the government, in in the courts. That's why Sean Elias, Chief Justice of the
the Supreme Court is in limbo of where she is, who she is, because the police have taken over, ruling over her and her jurisdiction. Well, the police, I'm afraid we've got the jurisdiction over you lot. You lost in the court against me. You're going to lose now, again, against these paramount troops, with the British watching you. Make deadly mistakes. That's going to cost you each. You're going to lose everything. You're going to lose everything. Because we're going to be hard because you've stooped up, duped up the people of New Zealand and the paramount troops all these years. 192 years back to 1820. Tira Waikato, Wharehere in Manukau, Tamori Ori, commercial landowner. That's when it started. <coughs> now, Alfred Mitchell <coughs> and Georgie Job, they're both Alfred, has been a nuisance to me. And then Georgie Job jumped in with him. I'm telling the truth about who the Manukau's are. It's a commercial contract, Alfred Mitchell and you have nothing to do with it because your name's wrong for a start on the title and Georgie Job you're in the Maori government Zarde your documents don't stack up they won't get past these chiefs paramount chiefs the real commercial landowners and spiritual landowners they're the native landowners as well as commercial landowners as far as I'm concerned <coughs> because <coughs> I have <coughs> myself, <coughs> through experience from Mohi Manukau and the older people that have died, left me with all their work to complete because they didn't know banking and land transactions and also a good measure of native titles and what happened to them and how did they manage to lose them <coughs> through the Crown Corporations, private companies and the Queen, private company as well. I just explained all of that about them as third parties to a two-party contract with the King's rule. <coughs> so, <coughs> um, fortunately, Alfred and Georgie Job got press buttoned out of my sites, 106 Facebook sites, press buttoned right out. I have no longer any interest in the Confederation of Chiefs, the United Tribes of New Zealand, and the Maori government because they are outdated <coughs> and uh, have no legal authority inside the documents and Mohi Manukau actually had two sides of his whakapapa history and that's nobody's business. He was on one side with the Freemasons to sell the land and the Scots in Edinburgh Magistrate Court with his ancestor, and he had the other side of the confederation, which is on the Maori side of a Maori government, and um, <coughs> setting up them for themselves. Now, Alfred, you are no good without Mohi Manukau's title I'm holding. You are no good without any of the history. You can't touch this book I gave you. You must return this book to me because I gave you one of these, and you tried to make the chief sign it after I stamped it. That's how smart and cheeky you were, to go and try and make Bundy and them sign it. They refused. And if you come up to that hui up in Hokianga at the Port Hose, I'm going to mention that, that you tried to make them sign it after I stamped it. You'll never get a signature of them because you're an alien operating from Australia with your ancestors, the Mitchells, from there. I'm saying this, <coughs> that it was your ancestors that sold this country <coughs> the Moriori land titles instead of the Moriori Manukau's themselves. They were selling the land too. They had the right to sell it, not you. You see? You have no right to the titles on this land. And there you are saying this and that about us. And you have no experience in land transactions or how they work. You're just going to try and steal this lot out of that book. You touch it, Alfred, you're in trouble with me. <coughs> because I put that together with my brain and used the axe. No one else used those axe or magistrate court word. 
or any of the words that I use in this book, although I've got the Maori government in there, that was formed from Iru Manukau in Malta, a contemplus, you see? They put that together, contemplus, that CD with those chiefs on it. Well, it's out of that. You can't use that, any of that anymore, Alfred, because those paramount chiefs will bust you. They'll bust you right off the land up there, Ngāpui's land. It's the Ngāpui's that put that flag together. And you fellas are second hand, third parties, that came later, a year later, <coughs> with Hauraki and the 38 chiefs mixed up in a New South Wales title approach. Okay? You stay in that jurisdiction and go back to Australia. Because it's not going to happen right on the 28th of October. The Declaration of Independence Day will now become <coughs> a Declaration of War Day on anybody who gets in the road with this bow note hanging over your head and a musket. Because we can shoot anybody with these laws in this book. We can shoot them from 1820 to 1834. Just before you crooked lot of thugs took these titles in, in 1838 and made the New Zealand Company. And then that didn't work. And then you made the, New Zealand, the Manukau Waitamata Company. See? Stole the name Manukau. Still stealing now for your treaty claims. And that's when I went to the, the court hearing for Moi Manukau's Y121. I said to Rachel Holbrook, Holbrook <coughs> and the Office of Treaty Settlement, OTS. <coughs> <coughs> OTS. I said, stop using the Manukau name in any treaty settlements. They're still using it. You know what? All you people who have used that for your treaty claims, you're going to get a pound note on your head, a trillion pound note on your head. All your heads had used that because I warned the OTS back there in 2008. Don't use the Manukau's name in your treaty claims because the treaty is a fraud. It has no basis of founding this country. It was founded by this flag in 1834. The 20th of March, 1834, was when this was the flag of New Zealand. <coughs> Under paramount chief, not second-hand Pakeha surnames. It was raw native surnames. So those surnames on that date were the only chiefs in a private contract straight into the 1820 Te Rawaikato Whareere Manukau title, already sold the lands. The British were selling lands here in 1820 to 1830 before this flag came in 1834. They were using the birth certificates in 1831, Tikitiki, Omar and Rocks, Whakawhitira Native Magistrate Court in Tikitiki, Rotorua, Hiru Harama, on the way to Rotorua. <coughs> Mount Higurahi. <coughs> that Marae was the other Native Magistrate Court with Aurora Native Magistrate Court in Helensville to Okiato Native Magistrate Court that Captain James Reddy Clinton, the captain on a ship, was in the three of those Magistrate Courts to put the King's title on the land this flag. Okay, you got that? You got that? Now, Alfred, you, you don't have any contract because your name doesn't come up on it. <coughs> it doesn't matter what tribe it was because the Wanoas are married into the judges and the lawyers. So, rules you out. We are in the courts. That's why I'm talking like a judge and sounding like a judge and a lawyer. And so be it. I'm allowed to be that in a native court, pulling this flag, power. Okay, you got that in your thick head? And Georgie John? Your Maori government is Maori, is white man's law. From Australia, pirates. Okay, so you can take your Maori government and shove it. Because that's what these paramount chiefs are saying. Shove it. Don't bring it on to Titi Morai when we're talking. 
because you'll get busted this time. And Kingy Toto will bust it too. Okay, because Kingy is Queen Victoria. He's looking after your lot. Because he wants his land back too. He's never going to get it back until the Paramount Chief takes it back. Because the Australia Queen Victoria title does not count over this King's title. That's what's wrong with you stupid Maoris. <coughs> and I say that <coughs> because you've taken all this long to find out just where it went wrong for you. Because you were given that name. It didn't get inherited. It was given to you by the thugs in Australia, New South Wales, and Alfred Mitchell's lot. Yeah, I can say it like that. Try and argue with me in a court, Alfred. If the police would lose against me, where would that leave you? Mm -hmm. And you have to get 75% of Maori, wherever they are, to come into you and you've got no money or power note or anything to go on to rub two stones together, let alone a memorial to yourself. The Moai is my memorial in Rapa Nui to Mokonui. Mokonui to Rapa Nui. Hmm? You got that? That goes right over the top of anything you're saying about Whakapapa and this and that, tum -tum and this and that. It's just a title on documents that matter, that buys things to shoot your head off with and puts houses up to put you inside them and a car to run around on. You see? You wouldn't have that if it wasn't for this and that fact. That got on his land, Alfred. It can get you off the land as well. Paramount Chief can get you off the land, get anybody off this land. I'm saying that openly on this video. So, <coughs> um, I had one too many papers in the book, uh, money. I, I, I written, that's why I didn't put pages on them, numbers. <coughs> I left the numbers out because I can put more pages in and rearrange it because when I printed it, I just told them to bind it up and that's where I got it before I came up with it. I didn't have time to rearrange or anything. It's all in there. It's all in there. Okay? Whatever goes in there <coughs> is the law of this land. <coughs> the government can't challenge it. We're going to, we're going to put the no government on notice on the 28th. Frame the laws. I'm going to frame the laws out of this book. Don't have to go anywhere else. I'll frame the laws out of this book. But this is under British law, under that ancestor, Tedawakato, uh, Farahele, and Manikau. The Whakamania had no contract. They have no contract. They weren't uh, proficient enough in this um, law system. They were going to make their own laws up out of the Tutu Whenua, uh, 1993 Act, and the Queen Victoria side. They were going to, that, that's what they've been doing all along with the Confederation of Chiefs. The Whakamania has been running all the way through until <coughs> I went up Okiato, up Mikey Hill, uh, with Jim week or two in them, and they didn't know what I was up to either. They didn't know what I was doing, it just looks like something that I've got myself. And I opened up that magistrate court over there, and then brought it over to Waitangi Marae. From that date on the 10th of uh, March 2016, with Jim put the flag upside down, this flag, upside down, as a distress call. So I went on Te Karere News, <coughs> it's on YouTube, <coughs> and told them, <coughs> uh, what's the story? Government's accountable for what it has done, because that flag going on Mikey Hill was the flag of New Zealand. Uh, and on that, on that date, um, 20th of March, 1834, uh, became uh, the sovereign authority and jurisdiction of Navy Magistrate Court. See, you see, you see, you see what I'm saying. And so, off it. Um, hang on, wait. This is my darling. See you later.
back to my Filipino partner now, and I'm going to see her because I'm going to see President Rodriguez Duterte uh, of Philippines to make a strike up a deal with him. And I want to go there to put the tidal turbines in the water to make hydrogen uh, rocket and jet fuels. <coughs> so we'll uh, spread that right to the well for the membership of uh, my Crown, King William Ford Trust and my Powerhouse Group Limited, Limited Company in London. Okay, so uh, we're back to where we were. <coughs> so now, um, um, bought the um, um, flag from uh, the Magistrate Court into Waitangi Marae um, King's Bench Magistrate Court native <coughs> with King Itaurua, um, Uepa Ipiha and Willie Pater. So Willie, this one's for you. You were there to witness what was happening but didn't realise what I was doing. I had it all figured out long ago with Moni Monica, what was supposed to be done, but nobody was listening. So I didn't do anything about it. And Mohi said, well, well, can't do anything about it, nobody's listening. <coughs> he tried to tell everybody, <coughs> but they just ignored him in Titi Marae every year, year after year, year and year. Sit to the corner uh, as you come in on uh, in, the, in the door to the right in the corner. That was his corner. They sit in the corner, say nothing, just say karakis, place to place, and get the hell out. Uh, so we opened up the Waitangi Marae uh, Magistrate Native Magistrate Court on the fifteenth uh, of April two thousand sixteen. Uh, despite what the Crown was saying, they let me go in. To that Marae and have that um, um, opening. And it was witnessed by um, uh, Paul Tipene from the Kirikiri Police Station, Constable, and also Murray Rapana, uh, the um, in charge of the Marae, um, Ketangi, the Waitangi uh, Treaty Grounds. He was there as, as well, witness on video as well. So there, that's locked into history and locked into the British <coughs> Crown Law system <coughs> of our jurisdiction, of authority ruling this country. And then I transferred it into White uh, into Titi Marae in the paddock in the tent on the 6th of February 2017 this year. Bundy Waitai, uh, Manahi Parapara Mohini and Hedewini Karaka and myself, and witnessed by Bruce Joyce, was there in support <coughs> from his Waitā, Grani Bruce. <coughs> Jim Wikutu didn't, didn't come in, he didn't sign anything. He just sat in his tent at the back and didn't partake in it. So, Jim, um, uh, I was disappointed that you didn't come into that tent and put your mark on it. You didn't. So that's the end of that. There's only four paramount chiefs in this book jurisdiction sign. Nobody else. Going to Britain. Going to Britain. <coughs> okay? They're picking it up from what I'm saying. Uh, and so we opened up that court. And then we went up to Te Hapua, uh, Te Hukua, Te Ika, Marae, Native uh, Grand Jury Trial Magistrate Court. Opened that one up with Bundy and Hiduini myself and Mani Parapara Mohini, the Moriori uh, descendant of Te Rawakato Wharehere in Managau. So they blessed that lot and later on they had another big meeting up there to, to go around uh, on the particular points to uh, Spirits Bay and to the Te Re Rengwairu, to the Lighthouse and other places uh, and the Ratna Church to bless what we're doing in this book. Okay. I'm just giving you a background on our <coughs> trail of paper uh, um, documents to stack up with us the live native surnames, the real surnames, not the Maori surnames, the Moriori, and the Cook Island, and the Moai uh, native surnames, real bloodlines, native male line dominant title holders of these lands. Native, that's the native title without the commerce in it. 
<coughs> okay, everything up to that point had no car mash in it. <coughs> and then I went down to Rangitukia, <coughs> opened up that native ma magistrate grand jury court uh, for Toi Kairako and Nukatere Waka on the uh, Haho 7B block. I did our little krakia there and with uh, Rabataka. He's the church, St. Mary's Church uh, family, um, uh, jurisdiction of the birth, deaths and marriages in Tiki Tiki, uh, um, Rahui Marai, and also the uh, St. Mary's Church in Tiki Tiki on the hill, and the Whakawhitira Native Magistrate Court. He is the church uh, records of birth, deaths and marriages on the stock market that's in New York with King William III. And King George the Fourth, okay, at that time, <coughs> but King William the Third, uh, Fourth, <coughs> joined up that title, selling native lands straight from Britain on that title with um, um, James Reilly Clarendon, Captain James Reilly Clarendon, uh, 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 magistrate court ownership, went there uh, from Aurora, uh, Helensville and from Okiato up in Bay of Islands, the same magistrate court, jurisdiction of King William the Third, uh, King William IV, sorry, and this flag, a 34 Declaration of War flag. <coughs> now, we're getting into uh, the commercial part was started at Tiki Tiki, when we opened that um, uh, magistrate court up, uh, Toi Kairako, um, um, Nukatere, Marae, Native Magistrate Court, okay? And then we came back up, oh, before we went there, we went to, um, 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 uh, up in Ruatoki, up there, Waimana, Waimana with Jim, and opened that Waimana Marae Magistrate Court up. So that one was before we went to um, Rangitoki and Tiki. <coughs> on one or <coughs> label. <coughs> marae in Rahui Marae Tiki. That's my all the Wanoas in there. More Wanoas or more than anybody else. To that church. Okay? Title. So that's another title. On top of the Maori title. On top of the King William IV title. These are those titles all stuck together in the native court title. <coughs> more than anybody else in this country. And the world for that matter. And so um, we went from Waimana, uh, the, the last marae on the, on the road going way up the back of Waimana, up the valley, and then we went to Rangitukia, and then after that um, we went to the um, uh, Tewangawaka Marae, Native Magistrate Court in Epsom, Auckland, and opened that one up, and took the commercial from Rangitukia into that marae there, and then that became the basis of the Auckland provincial title to East Cape, <coughs> all that land down there, all the way up to um, Auckland, in that area of King William the, the Fourth, um, first uh, areas of uh, colonization. Okay, so so now we have all that wrapped up uh, in the um, latest in this book to what I've just told you. That's online now in Straight to Britain. Okay, so that's all I want to say, um, um, Manahi, uh, that you and I will be um, um, looking at the um, court, court side, uh, magistrate court side in, in, in Britain, and uh, Bundy will look after the land titles here. Uh, I'll, I'll be looking after the bank, my powerhouse bank in London, and also um, <coughs> you and um, the um, um, your ancestor, Te Rewaikato Wharehere in Manukau, Moriori. Nobody else is a Moriori. You're the Moriori. Um, Bundy is the Cook Island, Taishan, and from Ngāpui, and I'm the Taishan, Mo Moai, from East Island. Well, <coughs> anyway, <coughs> Moai is the whole world, and so that's why the difference. Now, the commercial side of what I'm doing for Framing the laws, that's what I'm going to get on next before the video runs out. Framing the laws for uh, Bundy and, and the Whakaminia will be in a two-part uh, series. 
Uh, one with the framing the laws for the Commonwealth countries of the world, the 250 countries of the Maui um, Crown Federal State Commonwealth Government of the world, dual government with Britain, UK, uh, Westminster, Parliament, and um, the Whakamania will have its own uh, side um, that will be um, uh, financed from this uh, commercial side. and. Bundy will frame laws from this commercial side as framing laws and making laws to suit the Whakamenia 13 chiefs. Okay? The 13 chiefs are <coughs> attached <coughs> to the Manukau title through uh, money. And here, two more minutes. Two more minutes. Uh, I will be sick. Um, right. Um, so now the commercial side of the uh, Whakamania will be handled in Auckland, but Bundy will be using the frame laws, the laws that I frame, until someone in their uh, Whakamania is trained to do this. They can't use it without knowing too much about it because there's a lot that goes with one wrong move and it goes the wrong way. <coughs> they can bounce, bounce on if you use the wrong um, acts, all the acts <coughs> in the 19A4 pages. Yes, um, so, um, um, to Bundy, um, I'll try my best to get it all done in your shares. I'll have those done uh, today or tomorrow and post them to you <coughs> and uh, also um, how the how this is going to work commercially financially with the Whakamania So, <coughs> we'll get to that point when we're, when we're ready, we're up in um, Hokianga, and I'll run over it. But in the meantime, the Confederation of Chiefs, the 38 Chiefs, have no part in what we're doing commercially uh, on the 28th of October um, this year, uh, the Declaration of Independence Day. We're going there to frame laws and to force them at the same time. <coughs> We've got all our homework done and we're moving right on to Cook Street to seize it. This time. Okay, with these laws and those paramount chiefs and no one is going to <coughs> rebut anything we say because it's all over. Uh, the time is at an end to try to go to the police and remove us from that property this time. It belongs to us. You haven't got a title that measures up inside this book and that land and us, the real commercial landowners of this country. Unless you've got a title that can stack up to these titles we have online, 106 pages on Facebook, <coughs> or sites. <coughs> and videos, 1160 videos, there's no way in hell you're going to get past that lot and the British watching what you do as a conflict of interest with Judith Collins, police minister, you're on notice on that video 
and Bill English. You all notice you are thug pirates screwing the people of New Zealand. You're defrauding the public of New Zealand for your own public, your own private financial investment interests and not the interests of the paramount chiefs of New Zealand and the public of New Zealand, citizens and taxpayers. <coughs> We've caught you out. We've caught you out and John Key ran away. The Paramount Papers is back up online again. There's an article there. I'm sticking that to you, Bill English, and Judith Collins, and Bruce Joyce, the whole lot of you. Nick Smith, all the thugs, and Winston Peters, I'm afraid you're one of them. Tied up with the wine box. You didn't even finish that off. You let them get away, and you're right in it. You're New Zealand First Party. <coughs> <coughs> is on notice <coughs> with whoever's going to be government. Takes a long time to decide amongst you rats, water rats, swamp rats, what to do with yourselves huddling all together. Enemies trying to make a government. Well, it's not going to work. It's not going to work because you're going to get a bill on your head. Each of you, threat. You're a threat against our national interests and our own private companies of Maui Crown King William Four Trust. <coughs> you get the bill. <coughs> John Key first up. Okay, that's all. Thank you very much. We'll see you later. Have a nice day. Bye.